Welcome back, lads. So as promised, I went and picked up a new battery today. And as you can see, I have this, uh, this setup going. So I have two inputs going. So I have my phone uh, that's into the left input. And I also have the laptop set up here. That's going into the right input. And then uh, there's the microphone standing up there with the tape on it. So the idea here is to mix all three of these inputs and see if we can actually make a mixer. So I, do, I gave it a dry run test and it worked pretty well. So we're just about to demo and uh, hopefully you see that this thing actually works. So here we go. So please don't mind my hands, they'll be in the way, but I'm also holding the camera. Signing in. So I'm gonna play Iris by U2. It sets out a little bit slow, but it's uh, one of my favorite songs. So that sound you're hearing is really coming from these speakers here. The two nine ohm uh, speakers. Sounds pretty decent, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start playing from the laptop. So this is a South African song. It's uh, Ganama, if you've ever heard of it, it's by Paige. So it's, you can kind of hear it. I'm going to turn it up a bit. So those are the three songs, two songs playing. So then, this is my master volume here. So I'm adjusting one of the, so this was like the case by case use of like the, the two volume levelers. So you can see I turned it down and uh, I'm turning up the other one. So that's a combination of U2 and the Ganama song. You can... So let's uh, try to blow into the into the mic here. Hello, hello, hello. Obviously, the mic is uh, a little on the low side. But uh, another try you could do is, another test is just kind of play with it. You can hear the crackling sound coming out of the, the speakers. So what's a good instrumental song? Let's look up some lo-fi songs here. Caillou makes good lo-fi beats.
So I can completely tune out U2 here. I think that's a very good turnout for a mixing board that's like so cheaply made. So I think to improve on the board, I think the next step would be for me to send it out for fabrication, make sure it's imprinted on a PCB and remount all uh, components onto the fabricated PCB board. And then I think we'll have a very good, decent mixer. But anyways, that's why I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to follow up and make sure that the circuit works. And as you can see, there's a new power battery there and uh, everything works. And thanks for watching.